Google Plus is getting a lot of publicity lately, and if you're not familiar with how it works, here's a real quick look at what to expect when you get in there. The main part of the screen is very similar to what you'd see on Facebook or Twitter with uh, status updates and pictures and stuff from people that you follow. Uh, just scrolling down, it just scrolls forever. You get videos, pictures, status, links, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the difference is, unlike Facebook, you follow people. You actually circle them on here as opposed to on Facebook where you friend them. But different than Twitter, the comments, let's go down a little bit and find some comments. Here are a few, are in line similar to Facebook, whereas Twitter replies tend to get scattered around the system. So it's kind of a nice blending of the two of them together. Uh, looking around a little more, we've got circles, of course, being the way you organize. You may have seen the TV commercials. You can have a variety of circles on different, different subjects, whatever interests you, and drag your friends into those circles. The neat thing with that is twofold. One, if you're to post something, I post a lot of things just publicly so anyone following me can see it, but I may have something a little more private, so I can close that and say, I want to share this just with my personal circle. Or you can even share it with just with specific people. That's pretty neat. Uh, conversely, you can also read things based on that. So typically I'll read my stream, which is everyone I follow, just all mashed together, but sometimes I want to see just what my personal folks are up to, or perhaps just what the Android developers I follow are up to, different things like that. It's pretty cool. The search feature is very powerful. When you run a search on Google+, uh, it searches people and pages and updates and all that. But you can save your searches, which is neat. I have a Galaxy Nexus that has a few little bugs, but I've heard version 4.0.3 of Android is coming soon. So I have a search I saved on that, so I can check you know, periodically to see what people are talking about and hopefully find out that it's coming soon. You can do that with different searches, and I can just hover and get rid of that saved search if I want to. There's also games, and the way they handle games out here is brilliant. Uh, we have games, very similar to Facebook, not nearly as many, but quite a few. Games have their own stream. Here's the games stream inside of here. What this means, this is where people talk about games and request, you know, various items in Farm Cityville and that kind of stuff. They don't have Farmville, but Cityville. Uh, the, the beauty of that is all that stays contained in the games feed doesn't show up on your main stream. As a user, that is awesome. If I were a game developer, I wouldn't like it as much because it's harder to promote your game, but ultimately, that's better for the system. Uh, there's other cool things. There's Hangouts, which is a 10-person video chat. Works very well. Awesome for small groups or just to go and meet folks. I've met a lot of cool people in Hangouts. Some neat features there. And then, of course, they have business pages, similar to Facebook. You can create a page for your business, do that kind of thing. Uh, but all these features I've talked about, we have separate tutorials to dig into each of those. So find what you're interested, interested in and dig a little deeper. Thanks.